welcome all of you in this video you are going to learn about bjt and fit applications bjt and fit application what is a bjt it's a transistor okay it's a bipolar junction transistor and a fit is a field effect transistor so this is one these two we'll going to discuss what about our last unit last unit is a power supply and op-hum op means what is op-hum op is a amplification amplification purpose developer device op-hum what is the famous of the op-hum ic 741 741 the op-hum is needed for the plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt the pin number 7 is a plus 12 volt pin number 4 is a minus 12 volt we need to apply pin number 6 is the output of the op-hum okay so that a plus 12 volt minus 12 volt how to apply 7812 this is a positive voltage regulator and a negative voltage regulator okay then rectifier off wave rectifier full wave rectifier three phase full wave rectifier so these are the rectifier used to convert ac to the dc powers and the constant voltage of the dc voltage will going to give with the help of the voltage regulators and then next one variable voltage regulator for example charging the mobile phone mobile phone voltage is a 3.5 voltage 2 amps required then which voltage regulator do we want, do we prepare either a 7812 or a 78105 or 7815 so this 7805 also not prepare, not produce 3.5 so 7805 means 5 voltage only but i need 3.5 voltage what to do so you are going to go for that variable voltage regulator or adjustable voltage regulator that is called lm317 this lm317 it is used to you will going to vary the voltage up to 3 7 so 37 voltage or you will going to vary and then amps is a 2 amps only it will going to produce maximum so if you want 3.5 voltage yes you can design so next one is op -hum, operational amplifiers so op -hum is generally classified as an open loop op -hum and a closed loop op -hum. open loop which include a comparator zero crossing detector closed loops is a operational amplifier which include for a segmented trigger segmented trigger type of that operational amplifiers and further about that peak detector instrumentation amplifiers three operational op -hum is used and a converter where i to v v to i converter waveform generator opums so opum is used for that waveform generation sine wave square wave triangular wave and a filter application also we are going to use the opum so like and one more is a bjt and fit applications so bjt and fit it is used for that operation amplifications okay so we'll going to see and followed by we will going to come back okay some basic introduction about amplifier so what is the amplifier basic introduction amplifier is a it will going to amplify the input signal so input signal it will going to amplify it. how it is amplified means input signal difference of the input signal multiply the gain then it is a coming as an output and it is used for that addition subtraction integration differentiation like about multiple purpose the amplifier it is using so this is a two input of the op -hum. One is a plus sign, another one is a minus sign. Plus for that non-inverting input, minus is a inverting input. What is the meaning? When you will going to give the signal to the plus terminal, now if you will going to give the plus signal to the plus terminal, the output is in pace. Okay, in pace. If you will going to give the signal to that inverting inverting input, the output is a 180 degree pace shift. For example, 0 to 0 to 180 means it is coming from 180 to 360 first half cycles okay so 180 degree pace shift it is a produce that's all then uh, you see there are two input one output okay two input is a comparison v1 and v2 you will going to compare that is called vd vd multiply the gain so that's why output value is a amplified value two input one output or one input and one output what is the input either plus input or minus input if it is a plus input output is a plus if your input is a minus input then a minus input then output is a minus 
okay this is the two input i will, I will going to apply then difference of the uh, input and multiply with the gain and the output is a produce what is the gain value 10 to power 5 to 10 to power 6 so these are the basic differentiation of that uh, operational amplifier and the purpose of the operational amplifier for uh, active filter oscillator waveform, waveform converter waveform generator adc and dac the purpose so far we are discuss about this one this is coming to here also similar differential amplifiers two input one output and one input one output one input two output as similar to that comparator ic of that operational amplifier so coming to that one bjt and fit applications so what we are going to discuss here bjt means here is the bjt we're going to discuss first one is a class a amplifier so class a amplifier is a power efficiency that's why we go for that one another two method darlington pair and push pull amplifier <coughs> push pull amplifier or another name is called a class b amplifiers so class a amplifier is a power efficiency that's why we are move for that this two method darlington method when you go the gain value is a square and a class b amplifier also same so differential amplifier so far we have discussed difference of that input terminal based on that one output is produced then single stage multi-stage bjt amplifier so here is a single stage the output is low multi-stage okay more than one stage is connected that is about that multi-stage how it is connected either directly coupled or through that rc coupled or transformer coupled so about that one device okay then finally we will going to discuss about the fit applications so it is easy to understand about that so class a amplifier is nothing but a bachelor so bachelor is earning the less amount okay only one person amount so poor, poor amount okay earning then after married there are two members in your family husband and wife there are two members they are they are, they are going to the job they are earning so two in two in the class a amplifier so gain multiply gain is equal to gain squared so salary into salary is equal to salary squared so like about that one so two okay uh, their uh, class a is used then another one is a push pull amplifier or another name is called class b amplifier so here also they are using the two bjt one bjt for push another bjt for pull so like it is vice versa it is using okay it is used for the increase the gain and efficiency the differential amplifier as similar to that comparator okay here uh, also using for that two bjt the next one single stage multi stage so if we'll go for that one okay less performance and improve the performance and improve that uh, output okay uh, efficiency as well as gain multi stage is used either direct coupled means freshly married couples so husband and wife they are going to connect directly by their hands and we're going on uh, outside by walking so after one year child is coming between that one that is called rc coupled after one more year son and daughter is coming so there that is called transformer coupled okay then followed by we'll going to discuss about the fit and fit construction and characteristics first we'll going to look about the fit fit means what field effect transistor field effect transistor fit is a voltage control device okay voltage control device bjt is a current control device fit is a voltage control device so input voltage okay if you going to apply based on that one it is output is on and off it will come to work the terminal wise if i have seen that one gate drain source there are three terminals the types of the fit it consists of the n channel fit and p channel fit there are two type of the channels n for that one electrons and p for that holes it is a unipolar device so either n or p channel is working at a time output characteristics output characteristics is very simple output voltage versus output current so here what is output voltage output voltage pds across that these two point and output current is a id so that is about that one <laughs> so if you have a look about that one this is output characteristics of the bjt output current versus the output of the voltage so this is a linearly increase after the saturated output world current versus the output voltage it is similar for the fit also same similar fit also output current versus the output voltage as similar the curve also it will come as similar okay 
then first one we'll going to see the types of the fit okay there are two types one is n channel fit another one is a p channel fit well, how to see the uh, how to draw the diagram okay in alphabetic order a to e z first e n will come after that p will come n for inward direction p for outward direction as human being whatever the system first you're taking the input and after that output okay it will going to exist okay so inward direction after that outward direction so n channel fit and p channel fit what is the difference between these two fit so when you are going to use the n channel fit means the input voltage is less than zero only you need to apply so less than zero equal vgs equal to zero vgs equal to minus one vgs equal to minus two like you need to apply so when you will go for the p channel means vgs equal to greater than zero you will going to apply just opposite okay so you have seen that one this is the two type of the fit, uh, fit constructions okay here is a n channel n is a majority portion and a p channel p is a majority portion and what is another layers so p p is there okay there are two layers and then this two p is a connected to terminal that is called the gate terminal gate terminal so here is a gate terminal then what is another two terminal drain terminal source terminal so there are two type of that uh, channels n channel and a p channel majority portions so let's we take uh, one of the example yeah okay this is the n channel we're going to take okay this n channel further we're going to take to proceed what are the three terminal gate terminal drain terminal source terminal this 2p is a uh, connected to the gate terminal only okay so how many junction is there so this is the one junction pn junction this is another pn junction there are two pn junctions okay so due to the two pn junction how many layer is created here is one region is created okay uh, yeah this is uh, the region that is called a deflection region so two deflection region is created so apply the vds voltage output voltage you will going to apply if you will going to apply the output voltage what will happen deflection region it will going to extend it will going to expand so expand the deflection region like the balloon balloon is expanded okay so what okay what further so here there is a current will go into flow what is the current there are two current one is the electron another one is the id drain current or conventional current electron is a flow from source to that drain down to the upward direction see that one okay and the conventional current is a flow from that drain to the source top to the bottom okay working of that this field of field effect transistors similar to that tap so how the tap is working so tap is a control valve if you open and close similarly gate terminal so where where is the tank so here is a overhead tank the difference between overhead tank what our tank and then tap the based on that one the force is produced so difference between the two point that is called difference of the voltage so gate with respect to source what is that one different vgs okay so what is coming out from that tap that is called the electron so electron is a move from that source to the drain source to the drain so source to the drain is a electron so source source means tap is a source or you can say about that a tank is a source okay source okay source is a move okay and then who is collecting the sink is collecting drain is collecting that's all so this is a method about that analogy of field effect transistors the next one case there are two cases one is already we discussed n channel means what about so vgs is less than zero only so in the possibilities not greater than zero never come so vgs is less than zero what is the first one we'll going to look about that vgs equal to zero and vgs equal to less than zero minus one minus two minus three you can apply okay first one i will going to take the case one vgs equal to zero i will going to apply so once i will going to apply means it is a nothing i mean g and s is a no potential differentiation it's a short circuited that is called a zero voltage if it is zero voltage i will going to apply then what will i will going to apply this side it is called vdd or vds you can say so you will going to increase the voltage this is a point number one what is the point number one so here is a input of the vgs is zero then output of the voltage vds you will going to start to increase then what will it will happen the balloon the balloon it will going to expand okay the balloon okay if you want to i will going to start to increase okay this is a case number one input voltage is zero then output voltage i will going to give vds so so deflection region is created see that one the balloon is created expand the balloon okay 
So that is, that is one of the things. Once balloon is increased, the balloon balloon is it is expanded. Okay. If I have look like the the balloon, if I, in that region if I have look like deflection region, the top is a higher bulky and the bottom is a narrow. It's a, it is a look like the lungs type of the diagram. Okay, you will going to draw the resistance between the drain to the source. So there are four resistance equally divided. Then what is the voltage drop across the bottom side? What is the voltage drop on the top side means the voltage drop of the bottom side is very less compared to that top side of the voltage drop. Okay, bottom side is a 0.5 and the top side is a 1.5 voltage drop is a per day use. Okay, then next one. Okay, so input voltage is zero. Then output voltage I will going to increase. Further, if I will going to start to increase, means what will happen? The deflection region is increased. So the deflection region is increased. Okay, and then this current, the conventional current is start to flow. Okay, it is a flow. Okay, conventional current is increased as well as output voltage is increased. So I will going to increase the output voltage. Okay, see that one it is a conventional current also flow. Okay. See, it is going so linearly increase linearly flow so current is a flow conventional current and output voltage is i am increasing conventional current is a flow top to bottom okay it is a flow balloon is increasing so balloon is also both side then that means deflection region is a balloon so like i can assume this is a increasing so linearly it is a going on that one further i will going to keep on increase uh, applying the voltage what is voltage various voltages i will going to apply what it will happen the balloon is keep on increase after the one point the balloon is touched so the balloon is touched means what will happen the conventional current is not permitted to flow from top to bottom as well as electron also not permitted so conventional current is not flow from top to bottom means its conventional current is maintained as a constant that is called a saturated region it is maintained as a constant if you're going to keep on, I will going to apply the voltage. What will happen? The voltage it will going to get the breakdown. So breakdown the voltage. Breakdown the voltage means voltage is maintained as a constant and the current is increase. So this is about the breakdown region. So that's all about that uh, operations. So linearly increase. Okay, the balloon is it will going to uh, once uh, apply the voltage. What will happen? So once you will going to apply the voltage. The deflection region is created. The deflection region it will go to okay uh, initially not touch the balloons. So that's why the current is a flow from top to bottom. Okay, uh, similarly voltage also uh, you are going to increasing. So linearly it is rising. Then if we're going to keep on increasing the output voltage, what will happen at a one point? The balloon uh, is a, both balloon is a closed touched. If it is touched, it means the conventional current is not flow. So conventional current is maintained as a constant. Then further you will going to keep on increasing the output voltage. What will happen is this voltage will going to keep on increasing. Then after that it is getting constant breakdown regions. So due to that one it is a breakdown that one. The output voltage is maintained as a constant. Current is a increase lightly. Okay this is about that one Vg is equal to 0. Similarly Vg is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and then minus 4. When you will go for that minus 4 means so it is a Vgs voltage. It is equal to the pitch voltage. Pitch voltage means balloon is totally it is a touched. So it is almost on the x axis line. So x axis line. So this is about that same diagrams. So I will show you for the two steps. Yes, these are four steps. You will going to look that one procedure. So procedure of the case one and the case two. What is the case one? Zero voltage. So VG is equal to zero. Here VG is equal to less than the zero. Less than zero means what is that one? Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. When you will going to keep on increasing at the point, it is equal to the pitch voltage. It's a pitch voltage means it's a cut of the region. That's all. Okay. So this is about the field uh, fit field effect transistors. The next one we're going to look about that BJT bipolar junction transistors. Okay, we're going to start uh, start about that BJT. BJT is a bipolar junction transistor. There are two types. One is a PNP type, another one is a NPN type. Okay, this is a symbol of that transistors. N is a middle, here is a P is middle. So N, N is a inward direction. Okay, alphabetical first is N, input and then output. <coughs> so 
there are three terminal base collector emitter so here it is there are three terminal base is an input and then output okay collector terminal and the emitter is a ground so based on that okay configurations it will come to design okay their purpose of bjt there are two purpose one is a switch another one is a amplification a for amplification okay active region there are three regions okay cutoff region saturate region active region a for active region amplification saturate region cutoff means off saturate means on so off on so type of the working what are the three configuration so common okay common base common collector common emitter what is that one common base common collector common emitter so base is a common for input and output that is called common base collector is a common for input and output emitter is common for input and output that is called common emitter so this common emitter is suitable for that amplification purpose okay this is a, you are going to take about that one this is a bjt okay so bjt is a one of the current control device what is the current control device the input flow of the current based the switch is a closed and open if you're going to light okay i mean very less micro amps means the switch is partially closed if you're going to give for that one full uh, micro amps means the switch is totally closed like this tab how this tab is working so light partially closed or that fully closed if i am not giving any push so then output current i mean input current is zero what about output current okay it is also zero no water is coming so if you want to i will going to give that one push then only water is coming on outside that's all okay so it is a data mark is coming outside so p is a center n p n of the type of the transistors So this is about that a simple uh, so, so, uh, diagram about the class A. Okay, we are uh, taking about that a BJT base collector emitter. Okay, common uh, common about that a emitter. Okay, here is a which one? This output terminal. So emitter is a ground. Okay, ground we will connect with respect to output you can take and the input terminal with respect to the ground you can take and the base side. Okay, base its input side you will connect using the two resistance biasing the resistance. Biasing the resistance or okay here is source source with the respect to that uh, RL you will going to connect it so this is about that one load resistance you will going to say this is a point you will going to uh, connect out I mean brought out for that uh, output terminal this is a point you will going to give the input through the capacitance you will going to give so what is the efficiency so it is efficiency of the class E amplifier is a 20 to 30 percentage only then what is that one gain beta is equal to as yes, well efficiency formula output by input but here is a gain is equal to beta is equal to output current by input current what is output current this is a collector current and the input current is a base current then collector current is equal to beta into base current so this is about that class A amplifiers so only you will going to keep that collector current is equal to beta into base current so you will going to give the some some values so here is a here is a input aside of voltage is 50 voltage and the amps of that one is a 200 microamps you will going to give and here is output voltage is 10 voltage and then you will going to what uh, give for the resistance this is a resistance value and then you will going to find out about that uh, voltage then what is the formula so it is a collector current is equal to beta into base current so find out the collector current collector current so what is the collector current that is called the output of the current is called the collector current so output of the current is equal to this is a collector current that current you will going to find out what is the current method so gain so that is a beta multiply ib what is the beta it's a voltage what is the voltage it's a 50 voltage multiply 50 multiply okay but not it's a gain okay but it's a beta dc voltage is 50 voltage multiply base current base current you are applied 200 microamps so you will going to do then you will going to find out that one is a 10 milliampers then next one output of the voltage so here is a 10 milliamps of that base base current you will going to found okay another one is a output voltage vce then what is the formula v okay vce output voltage okay vcc minus ic in and rc what is the vcc vcc is equal to 10 voltage 10 voltage minus ic value found 10 milliampere multiply rc rc resistance what is that one 220 ohm 
so you will going to use the 220 then you will going to find out 7.8 7.8 versus the 10 milliampers this is a point is called the q point similarly input uh, input current is a 200 micro amps so when i will going to increase 300 micro amps you find out the q point then 400 micro amps you will going to find out the q point then join that is this these three points and touch about this point and then touch on the x-axis and the y-axis so this is called the load line so load line so load line it will go to saturate what is the load line saturate point and this is a cutoff point so it will go to connect all the load lines and extend the points it is a input waveform and this is the output of the waveform that's all so summaries okay what is a, what is c c is a emitter is common for input and output terminal okay what is the gain and efficiency of class c amplifier it's a low okay so it is a very low best one does bjt is current control device yes so you will going to vary the input current based output to flow of the current is high switch is close if input current is zero output current is zero so you will going to generally you will going to vary 200 micrograms 300 micrograms 400 micrograms like you will going to vary what is the q point this is a q point so q point so it is a output current versus the output voltage you will going to find out the q point yes q point is a ic versus the output current versus the output voltage so q, q point is a load line so it is connected between the saturated region and the cutoff region you will going to connect it So this is uh, about the classy amplifier. It's a power efficiency and then gain values are very less. Then you will go for that one. Then another method is Darlington pair. It's like like about that. This this picture is showing how the picture is showing. See this is a person number one. You mean amplifier one and amplifier uh, sorry BJT one BJT two. So how about this person? This person right hand and this person right hand both hand is connected. So right hand is the power. Then this person, first person, okay, our left hand is connected to that second person, so it is touching on the shoulder. So like about that, BJT is connected. The method is called Darlington pair. See here, yes, this is a trans, uh, transistor one, this is a transistor two. So right hand is connected. So both members, right hand is connected, output terminal. So we have the right hand is a power. So output that is collector terminal, collector terminal is touched, that is called the extracted. The next one, left hand of the person is connected to the shoulder on the second person. So emitter is connected to that baseline. It's a motivation. So it is touched on the shoulder. So that's a, it is the input terminal okay so like this method is connected this method is connection is called a darlington pair what is the purpose means the gain values increase how it is increased so already we have discussed ic is equal to ib into beta so collector output current okay collector current is equal to base current into beta so here current gain is equal to so in the two one you will going to see about that what is the current gain same output ie2 so ie2 this one divided by input okay output of the output divided by input what is output current ie2 divided by input current what is that one ib1 so output current divided by input current that is about that gain yes ie2 divided by ib1 so what is ie2 output of the current so output of current is nothing but it is a beta into ib2 so So what is that one? Here is the output current IE2 means it is it is coming from that one. So this is the input of the current. The input of the current is IB2 into this beta beta 2 beta 2 beta 2. Okay, that is it will going to give. See the formula beta into IB1. So IE1 is equal to beta 1 into IB1. So IE2 is equal to beta 2 into IB2 divided by this is same IB one ib one then uh, we'll going to substitute for that one what is that one here ib2 so ib2 is a replaced into that ie1 why ib2 is a replaced into the ie1 see ib2 it is equal to that 
this emitter current i bt is equal to the emitter current so that's why it will going to replace into the ie1 so ie1 divided by same denominations i b1 okay then next one ie1 what is the formula beta 1 into ib1 beta 1 into ib1 substitute then ib1 ib1 is cancelled numerator beta 2 into beta 1 there are two beta so beta squared gain squared that's why Darlington pair is useful on that one the next one is a push pull amplifier so push pull amplifier see like this type of method so father is a uh, touching on that one uh, one person on the left uh, right hand another person on the left hand so like about that the father is touched uh, connected so this is a see that one there are two transistors okay okay through two transistor either you can take a npn transistor or pnp transistor or same npn npn you can take or pnp pnp take or npn and pnp take vice versa you will going to take so here you will going to look about that one to, uh, its outward direction p so npn npn type of the transistor there are two transistor is uh, there are uh, considered and the base of the uh, transistor the two transistor is connected to the father so it is connected to the father like the two base of the uh, transistor is connected to the uh, transformer it is connected okay then these two is that uh, they are going to touch it about that one this is the point is connected to that uh, source to the uh, inductance terminal source to that one it's a transformer terminal inductance terminal output of the transformers so this is a there are two transistors is used uh, okay one and two so at a time any one of the transistor only operated one transistor is a push another transistor pull vice versa it will go to operated okay so you look it so when you will going to give the power supply on the transformer so transformer is alternating natures so positive okay it will going to plus with respect to minus and the bottom side is a plus with respect to minus so like it will going to positive magnitude and a negative magnitude like it will going to change so when the positive magnitude at the time okay plus with respect to minus so this is a it will going to on so once it is on okay it will going to based on the error mark the circuit is closed the circuit is it will going to closed on that ones so positive half cycle is a produce positive half cycle is a produce on that one so it will positive half cycle it is coming as and then so input is a positive half cycle the same positive half cycle is coming on the output side so when okay here is the input terminal is a negative half cycle is changed so bottom is a plus with respect to minus so during time based on the error mark it is a it is a error mark is a current is a flow this directions so this direction negative off cycle is a it will going to operate it. this is a transformer the same negative nature it is a produce so you will going to amplified value output is a produce amplified value output of the sine waveform is a produce that's all push pull amplifier the next one is a differential amplifiers it is a initially we were discussed about the op -um. it is a differential amplifiers so here there are four types of that op -um. see this is a diagram is very simple it is showing the hand is a input and then a leg is output so two input two output okay two okay two input two output so we'll going to consider as a leg as an input and then hand as an output we'll going to consider so two input and then two output so two input and one output one input one output one input two output so like about the diagram it is showing similarly you will going to look about that one pictures so here is a, this is a transistor one and a transistor two so base terminal with respect to ground base terminal with respect to the ground so here is a you will going to apply the plus vcc and then here you will going to apply the minus vcc then where is output terminal this is the output terminal so here is a two input is giving okay and then one output is there again kind of brought out if it is one more output you will going to connect it here means so two input one output and two input two output system it will going to come so this is system is a two input and then two output system so this is a two input system and a one output system next one is single stage and a multi stage 
so single stage only single person and then multi stage means one more uh, one more person is added that is about the multi stage okay then it is a further it is a the, there are a coupling it is going to multi stage it consists of the three coupling one is directly connected on that one direct coupling or that one through that uh, only one okay even rc coupling this is a transformer coupling so there are two um, two uh, uh, inductance there are two inductance primary coil and a secondary coil so directly you will going to couple upper one and upper two and then through the capacitance you can couple through the transformer you will going to couple so if i have look about the circuit diagram this is about that a three tire circuit diagram it's a directly coupled output is fed to that input on the second one it's a directly coupled what about here output is fed to the input of the second one through the capacitance output is fed to the second one input terminal through the transformer so like about that is about that a three type of the coupling device It's a three three transistor. Suppose three sensors as as well. Output is connected to the input terminal. Then similar output is connected to the input terminal. So RC. So through that one capacitance is connected to that second one. Then transformer coupled output is connected to that one input through the capacitance secondary terminals. That's all about the coupled circuits.